Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm out in the new side of my factory. Uh, now, Dwight and Steve were here today, and <coughs> Steve put a second coat of paint on all the walls, and Dwight built all the benches, and they put the first coat of paint on the benches. Uh, and he also uh, framed out my window, I'll show you in a minute, and he's moved the door. He's not down, he hasn't got the trim on or anything, but he got the door right of there and over there. So it's uh, a little tighter and easier to heat now. Uh, so let me take the camera down and just do a 360 here and give you some idea of what we're up to. It's a small area. It's awfully hard to uh, really shoot the whole thing. So there's my window. And then I've got a, a short bench here for my spot welder and probably some small lathes. Uh, we've got a wire in an outlet there. That's, I've got that figured out how we're going to do that. Okay, and then when you come in the door, you got a straight shot right to that door back there, which goes up into the uh, warehouse where all the uh, boxes and vials and carbon felt and and uh, I'm used to pots and everything are. Okay, this bench here is a four by eight free moving bench that I'm going to use for sheet metal. And then he put another bench in here, which has only had one coat of paint on it. But I'm going to put another one of the large lathes on that. And of course my milling machine is comfortably setting back here. Uh, and he's got the plywood on the ceiling. He hasn't pulled the lights up into place and put the visors on him yet. But anyway, uh, that's where we are on that. Uh, I had a good fire going all day. And uh, kept it nice and roasty toasty warm in here so the tank could dry. Now, uh, once I got the fire going and got the boys going and, and uh, got everything straightened around, uh, it was a really easy day today. I only had two orders. That's cool. I need a break now and then, especially this time of year. But uh, because I had some time, I set up and did the tooling and everything and turned the blanks and everything to make the uh, little tiny... Uh, bongo one-third. Now I made five of those today and I bagged them up with a 4 by 14 pot stand uh, as kind of as a kit. Now I was going to put a remote in with them but there are so many different remotes that you can use with it like uh, a dome top which would be my first choice or the two ounce remote. You could use an SS remote. You could use a big gulp as long as you kept the volume down on it. You use a nipple cap. You could use a gravity cap. So I left the remote out of it and just put a note in there saying that you could pick the remote that suits your purpose the, the best. So anyway, those are in the store. Now I haven't used these enough to really know what they're capable of. They're obviously a very small stove. Now, uh, my thought on this is, for that small a stove, which might even be a little bit small for an I'm used to 10 centimeter pot, what I think they would be ideally suited to would be maybe a 12 ounce or 16 ounce beer can pot, uh, which you can get from Smoke Eater 908. I don't sell any of the beer can stuff, but he does. He's kind of taken over on it. I had just too much bad publicity from BPA and, and all that other stuff. And I didn't like the design of the bottom of the pots because they were uh, food trapping them. And I just went to the Anusa and got rid of the beer can pots. I, I, it just made my life a lot easier. But if you want a beer can pot, uh, Smoke Eater 908 has the beer can pots with the rings and the lids and all that. And I think that this Bongo 1 3rd and the M1 3rd would lend themselves well to one of his small beer can pots. Uh, okay. Uh, I had a comical thing happen to me today. I don't know if I have the gloves out here or not. But uh, I was making... Yeah, I got the gloves right here. I was making pot stands today. And I weld those together with my uh, spot welder. Sorry about that. I weld them together with my spot welder. And I was welding along. And my thumb started feeling a little funny. So I kind of slid it back in the glove and continued to weld. And when I got all done... I kind of looked down with that pot I was welding, and <laughs> this glove right here uh, was on fire. There was a flame up there about three-quarters of an inch or an inch high, steady flame burning, because this is plastic. 
Although they're leather all over here, the back of them and the tip of the thumb is plastic and a big spark landed on that, set that right on fire. Uh, I got it put out and took it off and this time I went and bought a pair of gloves that are solid leather uh, and insulated so I think these will probably work better but until I find something better those will keep me from setting myself on fire. <laughs> So, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say for today. I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day, and try to take some time out to have just a little bit of fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.